Okay, everyone, if you follow my articles on the AppleMatters.com or other sites, you know I've written quite a few articles about automated because I think it's an awesome program, particularly for people who, like myself, don't have um, coding skills, and um, but you still want to figure out some ways to automate your um, what you do on your Mac. And automated just really makes that process simple. So what we're going to do in this particular tutorial is we're going to create a automation that uh, will help you to resize uh, photos or images um, anywhere on your computer. And what you're going to do is open up Automator and you're going to select um, services. We're going to make this a service um, uh, action here. You could also make it a folder action as well or, or a simple application. So, you know, if, once you get into it, you can learn different ways to do this. But we're going to make it a service action so that we can do it pretty much any, in any application. So you're going to click service and then click choose here. And then you have your workspace. You're going to come up here and we're going to select services received selected from and we're going to put um, images, image files and we're going to make it any application. Okay, and so from there, we're going to um, go over to where it says Files and Folders, and we're going to choose uh, Copy Finder Items. Now, you could use Get Finder Items, but I'm going to use Copy Finder Items, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. Basically, what that will do is that instead of it changing your original files, it will make copies of a file and then resize those copies for you. So that way, you know, if, if you make a mistake or something like that, you haven't messed up your original file. So that's the reason why I chose it that way. So we're going to have copy uh, finder items and you, and you drag that into your, this is your workflow, workflow pane here. Then you're going to go down to um, where it says uh, photos, and this is here the actions in the uh, photo section. And you're going to scroll down to one called uh, scale images. You're going to select that one and also drag it up here into your workflow plane, uh, workflow area. And you want to click on one item here called options, and you want to say show this action. Uh, when the workflow runs and if you haven't done automated out you'll see what that does in a minute uh, but you want to check that because it gives you the opportunity to change the default number that is that is in here so I'm not sure what number shows up um, by default but you can put any number you want so say if a lot of the photos that you resize are 480 by 640 or 640 you can even change it to that it doesn't really matter what you put it in here because basically what you have is you have the opportunity to put that number in there when before you click OK to let the action run so uh, put a put a number that you normally work with and put it in and you go from there alright and then um, ordinarily, you can't, you know, you would, in some other uh, automations, you'll be able to run it from here and, and test it out, but you can't do that with these service or, um, uh, applica uh, service actions. Basically, you have to um, save them and run them and see how they go, and then if they don't work well, you can resave them. Um, so then I'm going to go up to save <clears throat> and save it here, and we'll type, uh, call it scale images okay so we'll save it there all right and then we're going to go and open up um, system preferences and let's click on the keyboard and we're going to go down to my computer running slow here All right, now, um, and you notice I saved it two times, but anyway, I already have it saved here. So you go to, to services, and um, you click you click under here, pictures, and you want to make sure that that action that you just saved um, is shows up here in your uh, uh, services section. Because this is what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to con control click on some photos and see this um, this action being saved and then from there let's close this out here and um, let's go over to I, I have some photos up here that I put on the desktop 
an icon view so that you can see them and you see that they're very large um, size so I want to down I want to resize them so all I do is drag and select them and then right or, con or, or, or right or control click on um, one of the photos and go down to services and I'm going to select um, scale images okay and let's move this out the way and then you will see that it comes up here and I have an opportunity to change that number if I want to before I click continue so I click continue and you notice over here these files that I selected and got changed uh, are resized so that's it and I can pretty much because this is a service um, action here I can all I have to do is, is just right click and go through and this and you might not have this many um, actions um, in your services right now and these are some ones that I've added here and so once you learn how to do something like this and automate I mean you can create several different um, services actions for different um, tasks that you need to perform on your Mac so I uh, hope that works out for you if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties just write me a comment in the comment section thanks a lot